Hello, I've been struck twice with cars in my life. My half-sister did her best to kill mom and me in a fire, she said. In 2.14, and no one cared enough to even look into it. When I was falsely accused of elder abuse, no one bothered to come forward and say that. It's not Val. Val never hurt anybody. No one cared. Last week, they... <laughs> I wanted to know about my TBI that's been bothering me since June. It's not important enough to do anything about. So they had me t test for a uh, uh, heart murmur. I don't believe in them. I don't trust in them. No one could bother to stand up for me when I needed it. Not even dear friends could come forward and say, Val never harmed anyone. Some nursing thing just told me, if you start having pain, you need to come in. You still don't have any pain? I said, I've never had pain in my heart. Or in my chest. Except for that time when I had bronchitis really bad and I didn't know that when you do a mustard plaster, you have to have something underneath, you, uh, on top of your breast with the plaster on top of it. I just had the mustard plaster on my chest and I burned several holes in my chest. <laughs> Not all the way through, mind you, just, you know, big water blisters all the way across my chest. Let me tell you, that was not fun. <laughs> I was nearly drowned as a kid when my younger sister wanted to climb on my shoulders and have me walk. And I stepped in a hole and I went down. I couldn't get rid of her fast enough. In 18, I got hit by a car on horseback. We, mom put Ace's Blue to sleep. She had busted her hip. And the vet said, oh, we have a thing. We just hold it up. And uh, then uh, it will heal that way. And mom saw Ace of Blue, and she's, she and my grandma and I are in pass. Ace of Blue was covered with sweat the next day. She was pregnant with her first colt. Big palm, you know, baby blue eyes. Mom had to do one of the hardest things in her life besides leaving Diana's father, who beat mother when Diana was in mother's womb, and kicked mom. She divorced him at, when Diana was a year and a half. I have to go and mail something for Arizona, to Arizona. But I'm cold and I'm gonna take a nap. I try to get there before 4.30. From two, ten to two, twenty, when my mom died, after five years of two pain packs bought over the counter, put on our diabetic mom on a week, mom finally died. She had slept her way to death, thanks to my older half-sister. No one cared. No one cared. I cared. If my sister had done such a good job of painting me as a monster, no one cared. I wore the uniform of the United States Army. No heart murmur. I wore the United States Marine Corps uniform. No heart murmur. I came out backwards, quarter wrapped around my neck. 
no heart murmur. Then miraculously, all of a sudden, some ND, when I'm nearing 66, six, you'd find one? I don't buy it. I don't believe it. I'm not going to have it. Nor will I allow anyone to do anything I'm not going to be cut into. So I'm going to take a nap and I'm going to do books. After I take a card and mail it to Arizona. It's only six miles away. The hospital billing department was after me. I paid them $10 this month. I told them, until I'm working, I can't afford to pay you anything else. Some fucking bitch on Facebook is saying that I'm not me. Well, you know what? This face, this heart, is mine. It's been mine for nearly 66 years. Go play on someone else. Because this butch, she's not taking it. Not from you or from anyone else. I've had my heart cut out. Wasn't allowed to spend time with my mom or my baby sister until he died. So you can all go to hell. I don't mean you could go to hell. If my TBI isn't worth looking at, neither is my heart. See you later.